Have you ever had a hot sauce with roasted peanuts and peanut butter? Well, I think this is a first for me. This is another review for Shaka Sauce, and this is their Shaka Al Rashid. Keep watching. Let's find out what's in it. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another review for Shaka Sauce for my very good friend, Mr. Claude Dubay. And this is my third review and I'm telling you, I have really been impressed with the flavor profiles of these Shaka Sauces. Uh, just extremely flavorful, uh, just absolutely amazing. Now this one today is very unique. Uh, this is their Shak Arashid. And uh, there is Claude right there. And that is his partner in crime, Eric. And just look what's in this sauce. Peanuts, right? Roasted peanuts and peanut butter. All right, I think this is a first for me, but just love that concept. But let's go ahead and read this. I'm not gonna read that in French, but I have got the English translation right here in front of me. So let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Uh, and make sure you check out my other reviews that I've done for Shaka Sauce. Uh, I've done two already. Um, and uh, check those out. And let me read what it says here. It says, the peanut is not suitable for uh, all, for obvious health reasons. But for those who can enjoy it, the peanut can turn an ordinary dish into a delight. Yes, it can. This is what the Shaq Al Rashid has to offer. Its sweet peanut flavor will wrap your dishes with exoticism and its silky texture will feel like a caress. Whether you use it as a sauce, did you write that Claude? <laughs> Whether you use it as a sauce, a dip, or turn it into a salad dressing, the Shaq Al Rashid will satisfy the most demanding peanut lovers now here's the ingredients on this guys now this is made with a boatload of ingredients so uh i'm gonna read these very carefully here make sure i get everything all right here's the ingredients guys on this one and if i can read the sodium um yeah it's in a higher percentage for the serving so i'm not gonna try to translate that but it is not high in sodium uh, but we start off with sweet soy sauce maple syrup peanut butter, sugar, molasses, vegetable oil, salt, shallots, tomato puree, distilled vinegar, corn syrup, more sweeteners, <laughs> spices, onion powder, chili paste, xanthan gum, soy sauce, mirin, and I don't know if some of this is duplicated because of the translation, that's possible, but I'll keep going. Soy sauce, mirin, roasted peanuts, sesame oil, dehydrated hot pepper blend. I don't know what peppers are used in that. Granulated garlic, paprika, curry powder, ground ginger. We're not done yet. Dehydrated onions. Okay, that's it. So it contains peanuts, soy, and wheat. Wow. A lot of stuff in there I love. So it's got to be tasty. But this is another uh, kind of a creamy... Uh, slightly uh, thick sauce, not too thick, definitely not vinegary thin, but kind of a cream, sm creamy smoothie type consistency to this one. Kind of a nice dark peanut color. I'll just call this a peanut color on this hot sauce. But let's go ahead and check out the aroma. This is where it really gets exciting. Woo, this stuff smells absolutely amazing. You get the peanut vibe, but you get so much more than that. You get the roasted peanut vibe. You get the peanut butter vibe. I definitely can pick up on the sesame. The sesame oil is in here because we use that stuff all the time in our household. So I can't miss that. But whether I, I, I pick up on soy as well, just kind of notice that I, I'm getting the soy. But all of those other ingredients in here, my goodness, uh, I'm not really picking up on curry or any spices like that. But rich and flavorful, the predominant um, notes uh, flavor aroma notes to me is roasted peanuts sesame soy possibly some garlic but wow the sweeteners that are in here with the um, the molasses yeah the molasses that's in here the uh, maple syrup 
Yeah, definitely picking up a little bit of maple as well. That's the second ingredient. Whoo, this stuff smells good. Man, what are you going to put a peanut butter sauce on? Well, desserts would be fantastic, right? But there's some other things here I'll show you here in a minute. But let's go ahead and taste it. Nice, smooth consistency. All right, here we go with Shaq Al Rashid. Mm. Wow. I'm telling you guys. <clears throat> I could drink this stuff right out of the bottle. This stuff will not last long. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Everything I just described in the aroma, you're getting in the flavors. And actually, when you swallow it, you are getting a little bit of a bite from the De dehydrated hot pepper blend that they're using in here. I don't know what it's got in here, but it's not super, super hot. But I just say it is spicy, but you're getting that awesome peanut butter, roasted peanuts, soy, garlic, sesame. You're getting all of those flavors, you're getting all those aromas. And believe it or not, with all of those sweeteners in here that I mentioned, it, to me, it doesn't come across as too sweet. It is a little sweet, and I can see that how some people might say it's too sweet, but to me, it's not absolutely wonderful i bet that, you know you could put this on ice cream i bet that would be fantastic on ice cream but the first thing that came to my mind uh was some pad thai and you know how on a, a dish of pad thai one of the things that you usually find is a garnish is a little bit on the side of it is some chopped or ground roasted peanuts well my garnish was just uh, the Shaq al, Shaq al Rashid hot sauce putting on my chicken pad thai. And that was amazing. Perfect pairing. So I think this would be really fantastic on, like I said, desserts, ice cream, um, pad thai, of course, and other noodle dishes, other stir fry dishes as well. Asian cuisine, think that, but this is amazing. Super delicious flavor profile, very addictive. I think after I'll finish this review, I'll just go ahead and drink the rest of this off camera and just enjoy this awesome peanut flavored hot sauce. It is that good. So guys, check them out at shackasauce.com. I'll put that link down in the description. They are located in Quebec, Canada. And uh, this is my third review. I've got a couple more to review, but I've just been impressed with these flavor profiles. And uh, I know Claude really likes stuff pretty hot. And I do believe that uh, some of the versions are going to make hotter uh, on some of these flavor profiles. I don't know which ones, but um, everything doesn't, to me, everything doesn't have to be that hot because I really want to enjoy it. And these flavors are just outstanding. So once again, check it out at shakasauce.com. All right, Claude and uh, Eric, uh, thank you so much for sending these. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. And until the next time. Enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.